Whether you consider him a business genius or an over-the-top showman, there's no doubt flamboyant Sir Richard Branson is one of the world's most successful entrepreneurs. Inspired by his mother and aunt, who started up successful ventures from scratch, Branson entered the business world aged just 16. Five years later, he opened the record store chain Virgin Megastores and then launched a record label Virgin Records. During the 1980s and 90s, Branson built up the Virgin Group to include Virgin Atlantic Airlines, Virgin Mobile Phones, Virgin Trains, and now Virgin Galactic, a new space tourism company. Once his business empire was established, Branson was able to indulge in another great passion, pursuing boating and aviation records. Used to work in a building when he joined the ANC in 1942. In a canny marketing move, his record attempts have been closely tied to the Virgin brand, generating millions of dollars in free publicity every time he hits the headlines. But he says he has a purer motive. As an airline, being able to develop a plane that is capable of flying around the world uh, using uh, the, the latest, te latest technology and the latest composites, um, uh, we believe could be pi pioneering aviation for the future. This plane will fly around the world if it's successful, only using nine tons of fuel. Um, our other planes would use about one and a half thousand tons of fuel. Um, so it, it shows that the enormous leap forward in technology. But Branson admits he wasn't always an environmentalist. I think that the, the, the real worry about global warming is something which has only really you know, um, lit up in, 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 in the last couple of years. I mean, I, you know, I'm guilty of it. I hadn't um, fully appreciated the dangers until um, you know, the last 12 months, 18 months. Now I realize the dangers. I know we've got to do something about it. We've got to, you know, spend money investing in alternative fuels. And in the meantime, we've got to cut, cut our CO2 emissions uh, as dramatically as we possibly can. Branson is known for his humanitarian efforts, starting his first charity aged 17. He recently founded the Branson School of Entrepreneurship in South Africa. You know, Africa is a wonderful place. and. Uh, and it's been through so much uh, misery and uh, a lot of it so unnecessary and so much affliction. And uh, I mean, Taddy said something wonderful earlier. I, I mean, he mentioned all these hands out, handouts from America, and, uh, but he actually ended by saying, you know, uh, empires, empires do not last forever. And maybe in 50 or 60 or 70 years' time, uh, America will be coming. Uh, hat in hand to, uh, to South Africa. However, in between the worthy causes, Branson finds plenty of time to have fun. Well, it's strange for me being, you know, a businessman, a bleak entrepreneur. I've, I've had some, um, uh, some wonderful uh, invites to appear in, in uh, you know, in di different, different films. I've been in the, the Bond film. Uh, this year I've also did the, the Superman film, which we, we, we um, took off in a, a Virgin Galactic um, spaceship and um, we were attacked by the baddie and um, and my son and I were flying flying the spaceship um, and then you know the little spots and things like friends and Baywatch and only fools and horses and um, so I suppose I spend a lot of my life in a sense you know being the front man for Virgin doing a bit of acting so that it's quite fun to actually do some real acting for a change.